Hey, mate. Uh, okay, so really a lot of good stuff in this golf swing. Um, weight shift in the feet, really, really good. Uh, your natural plane. And then most importantly, you release, just release the club beautifully. Okay, great extension of the arms, great face control. I uh, really love it. Um, I actually had to check with Phil whether those two swings were the same person. Okay, and maybe it's just a case of your short clubs, you know, I guess because they are just quite short for you, you know, it's a bit more difficult maybe, or maybe the technique of the wedge game versus the full swing is just slightly different. So maybe let's just look at it that way, and then we can use the wedge game um, as a warm-up anyway. Okay, so look, I think a big thing through the short game and the full swing, okay, is the golf swing can be neater, all right, and you can really practice a little bit of center striking, okay. So in that full swing, you can see like quite a lot of movement there, and then a kind of a little bit of a lean, okay. We want to be as centered as possible and keep our height as consistent as possible, okay. So that's a good starting block for the full swing, just really still. Okay, but in the short game, or, or with the short club, should I say, with the wedge, and I can't quite see it on the full swing. It looks to me like the full swing, obviously the stance is wider, and you look a little more engaged, yeah? But obviously, I can't tell 100%. Um, but that short, that short shot, you're like, your legs are way, way, way underneath you, yeah? All right, and then I'll kind of get a little bit short and stuck. You know what I'm saying? There's just no energy in the shaft, and there's no energy in the leg work. Okay. So I think what you really got to do is start off with a short game, okay? Practice some center striking. Now, you know, you can, you can almost do it without balls at first. You know, just put two tiles. Something like that. It can be anything. It can be water bottles. It can be head covers, anything. Okay. Start with it quite wide. Now, short game, obviously it is difficult for you. So, you know, if you watch YouTube or read an instruction book or something like that, and they're saying sort of narrow stance, um, sort of nice and relaxed with your wedges, okay, that's not going to work for you because, you you know, you're just too big, right? So you're going to have to be wide with a bit of knee flex with those short clubs just to get in the right position. But most importantly, to get the balance points right because you got so far on your heels on that little wedge swing, okay, we can't do anything, and we kind of get stuck here, okay, and then just whack that one way out the toe, okay, so we've always got to be there, so we always want the weight there, we're always engaged, okay, imagine any other sport, you know, if you cricket, I mean, obviously, if you're in the slips or whatever, or you're a keeper, you're there, engaged, ready, if you're walking in as the batsman hits, you know, you're ready, if you're tennis, and you're receiving, you're ready, hockey, you know, you're ready, even rugby as you're going in, as you're going in, okay, before you hit. It's all actually the same position, okay? And what it is, it's an engaged athletic position, okay? And the weight distribution is always forward of center, okay? That allows you to do whatever you want. And for us, for our golf swing, it allows us to balance as we turn and shift in the back swing. Okay, if you're ready, yeah, and you turn and shift, okay, you're going to be all over the place. Obviously, you're going to lose your balance. Obviously, you're going to miss hit the golf ball. Okay, anyway, don't get too caught up in that. Just understand what we're trying to do. So it's flexed, engaged, and weight forward. Okay, then you can find your balance point and your distance from the ball from there quite easily. Okay, now because you go a bit wider with the short clubs, you're probably going to have to go just back of center just to compensate, right? Oh, and then, you know, you can even do a little bit of this at home. Okay, just lay out some two tiles or anything like that. Find that position. Okay, and now with the short game, we want to set the club a little bit more, so not too narrow and stiff. Okay, and then throughout the game, now that we're in this, so that's wedges, driver, irons. Okay, we're trying to learn to let the bo lower body go this way. Okay, your lower body looks like it wants to go that way. So we saw that definitely in the wedge shot and with the poor setup. Okay, and then the hips went underneath you. Okay, and then you had to sort of back out and hit it out the toe. And even in that uh, full swing, okay, it looked a bit better. Okay, but it's still a combination of that move. We saw this right foot slide. So it tells me that the center of mass is going that way as you're trying to get to the golf ball. 
the lag and release in the fuller swing was much better, right? So we're going to learn to get the setup right, okay, and then trust the lower body to go this way, okay? So we kind of roll through our knees and our feet, okay? Pivot if you—that's the technical word—is pivot, right? You pivot around your left hip on the on the downswing, okay? So a little bit wider, get those balance points, get the knees flexed, okay, and then practice. Start off with short little swings, little hinge, hinge, and roll. Okay? Hinge and roll. Okay? Hinge and roll. And you just practice brushing that grass or turf or whatever it is, astro, and not hitting the towel. Okay? And then once you get happy with that, okay, obviously you can put the ball there. And then once you get better at that, Okay, then we can start getting, <laughs> we start getting a bit of hectic. Okay, you can use T's as well. I like using T's sometimes. If you're going to use T's, use sort of three T's on each side. So six T's. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, and you can get them really close eventually. I'm not saying do that yet. Because it's a horrible feeling when you hit the wrong ball. But eventually you can get them. I mean, you can probably get them tighter than that, to be honest. Okay, eventually you can get them there. Then, once you get your setup right, it a little bit up the heel. Yeah. Okay. Balance points in the setup. Okay. Your wedge game is hinge and roll. Your full swing is just still and roll. Okay, so it's kind of a slightly different thought. The roll, instead of that, the roll. Is the critical for both, and then the learning the center striking is critical for both. Okay, and then just slightly the back swinging thought is different whether you're hitting wedges or whether you're hitting full shots, right? So you can get really good at this. Oh. Well, I always check my grip like that. So, okay, you can get really good at this. Okay, obviously, great shots. Um, and you get very, very confident. And the more you do that, then when you're on the golf course, you're not worried about missing the middle of the face. Okay, why are you missing the middle of the face? Combination. Combination of the setup, combination of movement in the backswing, a little bit of the hips or the, or the center of mass going in the wrong direction, and a combination of not practicing. Okay, so it's not four things. Don't think of it like that. Okay, all right. Essentially, it's, Roll the downswing, especially the lower body. Don't go underneath your, yourself. Roll, okay, and hit the middle of the face. These are two main things you've got to learn, okay? All right, setup's got to change. And then slide backswing forward. So with the, with the short clubs, okay, learn to hinge it earlier so we don't get sort of stiff and stuck and, and, and dead, okay? And then with the full swing, irons and driver, just make sure that we're not moving around. Okay, we're really nice and solid and centered. Okay, so you can kind of keep your uh, center striking going, all right? Setting it up with tees or golf balls or tiles or whatever you want to set it up with, okay? And then sort of start your session working on your setup and your backswing, a bit of center striking, okay? Work on the setup and the backswing. And then as you get comfortable with that, then you go, okay, cool, I've got a feel for that backswing. With the wedges, it's hinging it. With the full swing, it's staying really, really centered. Okay? And then as you get into it, you go, okay, cool, keep your center striking, but now all I'm working on is rolling through the downswing, not letting my hips or my center of mass and my body slide underneath me. Okay, so with the wedge, it ended up being that and out the toe. And with the fuller swing and the fuller set, it ended up being that. Okay, and then all the good parts of your swing and obviously your sort of um, uh, natural physical abilities that you've got can then come into play. Okay, all right. So that's a bit of work you can do. <laughs> if you do, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure Phil will send it to you. Um, or even if you can just think about it and know about it, concentrate on. Okay, it's all just going to help a little. Okay, thank you, mate. Talk to you soon.